Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 250 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various Keto topics, and then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. Now I know you're already wondering, wait, wait a second, this is keto on the couch. There but is no couch. We're not on a couch. We're on a bench. Does we're, that count? We're sitting on a bench and that is because uh, starting December 1st, which is yesterday for you guys, uh, <laughs> we are in the middle of our 12 days of keto, which means we have to live stream every single day. And uh, we didn't want to have to move the camera and the lights from one room to the other and back and forth. So this week and next week, we're going to be doing keto on the couch from keto on the bench. So is that lazy? Would that be lazy keto for us? That's lazy keto. We don't want to move the camera. Now I do want to say before we even get into keto on the couch this week, we do have a sponsor for keto on the couch. Yepers. And that sponsor is, you guessed it, Perfect Keto. Which I think we just spent like what 1.4 million dollars buying like all of these things because the deal was so good yeah and here's the thing so perfect keto is sponsoring today's video if you've never tried any of their products you have a great opportunity right now because you're seeing this on cyber monday if you're still seeing it actually on monday and they have uh, keto bars they have mct oil they have collagen all different kinds of things like that and right now today is the last day for their after Thanksgiving sale and they're doing build your own bundle. And the way the bundle works is if you buy one item, you get 20% off. Two items, you get 30% off. Yeah. Three or four items, you're gonna get 40% off. And if you buy five or more items, you get 50% off your whole purchase. And their their collagen is so good, I actually grew a hat. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I actually made three different purchases already because to top it off, there's certain things like um, the collagen, the MCT oil and the instant coffees, which I bought a bunch of those. If you buy three of the same flavor, so like three vanilla collagens, yeah. three salted collagens. Which, this was crazy. You're gonna get another 15 to 16% off. So like that's insane. If you buy the collagen, it comes out to be just $15 a container for collagen. Yeah, because usually my my thing is, okay, I'm going to get one of each, but I really do have like favorite flavors. Well, so, I just bought three of each flavor. And it just made more sense to, to buy it together. It's too good of a deal, and they only do this deal once a year. Now, they're also having a special bundle, and if you buy that bundle, you get 55% off of that. Like all weekend wow. long, it's been a couple boxes of bars and um, like a collagen powder or something like that. So, so you might want to check that out Just and the best way you can, guys can support us and help us out is by clicking through that link that lets perfect keto know that you found them through us Yeah, and they're also sponsoring today's keto, uh, for 12 days of keto. Oh, that's right. So yes. we're doing a giveaway. So if you're watching this in the morning, it's tonight, December 2nd today. At, tonight at five o'clock, yep. we're going to be doing our live stream for the 12 days of keto. And in that, Perfect Keto has given us an awesome giveaway. So your giveaway for that is going to be your choice of a box of bars, any right. flavor you want. Mm -hmm. And then you're also going to get a combo pack of the nut butters, one of each flavor. Which is really good. <laughs> and then you have your choice of either a collagen or an MCT oil powder, either one, your choice of flavor. So it's like worth over $100. Worth entering. Worth entering. And the way you're going to enter in that is after the live stream, that live stream will Will become a video and then you'll go and make a comment on that video but make sure you watch the 12 days of keto live stream tonight if you're seeing this on monday yeah and if you don't see it on monday check out all the rest of the days we're doing this every day through december 12th yeah so there's lots of chances to win which actually goes right along I'm gonna put this off to the side with that. what our december challenge is for this month and it is christmas present yes that is the december challenge is hashtag Christmas present because a lot of times, especially during the holidays, it can be kind of like a triggering season, right? right? You know, you're, you're, 
kind of wanting to go back to some of your old habits, but we're going to be in the, the Christmas present. We're not going to worry about Christmas past, all those ghosts and stuff, but you can be present right now. And we're going to have giveaways that's happening right now. We're going to be doing, having some serve opportunities yeah. at the end of um, the month, just to kind of like give you some uh, opportunities to Try to like reach out to people in, in your local community. And let's talk about that. So right now we're doing the 12 days of keto where mm -hmm. we're giving you guys something every single day. We've got 12 different sponsors. Mm -hmm. That's December 1st through December 12th. And then after that, our church every year does what's called the 12 days of serving. Yes. Where we reach out to the community. Things like, hey, do something nice for your mailman or your UPS driver. Exactly. Or, you know, bring somebody a meal or something like that. So Go bless we're a going, single mom. Yeah, bless a single mom. We're going to bring that from our church onto our channel yeah. and we're going to challenge you guys to participate with us in the 12 days of serving so when we get closer to that we'll talk about that that starts on december 13th 13th so it'll one right into the other yes and you're talking about also um hearing <coughs> about the past yes starting today december 2nd we are actually also joining keto coach keto coach in their Keto uh, back, get back into ketosis holiday challenge, right? Yeah. And so what they're challenging you is, you know, we just had Thanksgiving. Maybe you got kicked out of ketosis. Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's done. So we're talking about now we're going to forget about the past. We're going to start moving forward, getting ourselves back into ketosis. So they're doing a challenge with all kinds of giveaways. You can use this hashtag right here mm -hmm. and post every day a picture of yourself with what your ketones are. Yes. And it's okay if you're not in ketosis. They're figuring that we're not in ketosis. The goal is, can we get back into ketosis by the end of the week? I think we can. And they've got some cool giveaways for that as well. So make sure you go check out Keto Coach on Instagram and I'll go follow Goody Beats, who is a part owner of Keto Coach. Which we love him. We absolutely love him. His awesome family. And yesterday for Keto, for our 12 Days of Keto, they actually gave away one of these. And if you're seeing this in the morning, you still have a chance to go enter go into that it. giveaway. Go enter. So just click on this video that's right over Rachel's head. Go leave a comment section because if you're seeing this in the morning, we're not announcing the winner until 5 p.m. tonight. Yes. So... So that is all of our announcements, <laughs> except for the fact that Rachel is sick. I am so sorry. It's so funny. I jinxed myself, right? So this we're actually taping this Saturday night. Which is rare for us. Because I went to church to serve and got kicked out. Yep, pastor kicked her out, said, go home, you're sick. And I know I jinxed myself because the quickest way to get sick is to be a woman at work that says, I can't be I, sick. I cannot get, be sick right now. Kind of like the family guy episode. Actually, Sweetie, maybe you need to go home. I'm not going home. I cannot get sick right now. I have way too much to do. There's Kendra's birthday and the baby shower. And with this move, I have to finish typing this. Typing this. That's it. I'm taking you home. Achoo. You did this to me. So. As soon as you do that, you're going to get sick. Yeah. So it's just, it's just sitting right there, but... I am drinking some of the kettle and fire bone broth, the chicken bone broth with a little bit of extra uh, Redmond's real salt in it and a little bit of the Fresh Jack's Cajun. Oh yeah. And it's kind of like- It's like a bulletproof. Helping me to keep going. So I don't know how, how this is gonna turn out, but but we're trying. That Just kettle and fire is through. awesome if you wanna make a bulletproof bone broth. And there had a great deal as well for Black Friday and it's still going on right now too because it was like up to 30% off and then you were able to tack our coupon code on top of it. So you got 40% off really, almost 40%. We, I bought a bunch of that. You didn't even wonder how much I spent on that. I know, but it, but you're bringing me soup. <laughs> and right now, like all I can think of is I want soup. So I know you guys are probably wondering like, why are we filming if Rachel is sick? And that's because like tomorrow we have a live stream. And four and services. And four services. We're like, let's get this over with now. To so make that sure we do it. We can actually do Keto on the Couch because we don't want to disappoint you guys and not have Keto on the Couch. Yes. Um, since it is Saturday. Okay. And we are still in Small Business Saturday. But you know, like next week, companies have like all kinds of sales going on throughout the rest if of the If you miss Black Friday, don't worry. There's tons of sales, there's, not just for keto, but like in Best Buy and all those places. There's tons of stuff. And I didn't want to miss the opportunity to shout out one of um, our favorite 
friends and small business owners. And that is Kelly over at Brave and Courageous company their their candle making company and it's actually coconut wax because she's a, a keto mama herself yep. and even though we have a um faux tree it's going to be faux real smelling like um an, a real tree in here we got the crisp fraser fur oh. i know it's crazy crazy good and each um candle flavor has kind of like a backstory and there's usually a scripture verse associated with it and this candle which is crisp fraser fur smell is uh called planted and it's associated with psalms 1 3 which says he is like a tree planted by streams of water which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither whatever he does prosper so hopefully miss kelly's business will now yeah we're prosper. not we're not affiliated with her at all no. but she is one of our subscribers so we wanted to shout her out yeah exactly go check out her candles where can we get where can you get you her can candles? find them at brave and courageous we'll on put it right here on instagram and also she has an etsy store cool so so yep so let's talk about we had thanksgiving we did how did everybody do for thanksgiving let us know down in the comments did what did you guys eat did you stay keto i ate all of it you ate all of it i ate like so much like my my, my belly was like distended well i thought we had a great time we had turkey and um, we, we vlogged on that day yeah. because thanksgiving for us was on wednesday yeah we kept a keto food we kept a keto food but we enjoyed ourselves and then we took some leftover turkey and we made another turkey pot pie yeah we didn't have much leftovers to begin with but no but those little bits and pieces there's like no sense in wasting them that's right right i want to use it all yeah, so we did that, and then Friday, well, Thursday, actually, we went Black Friday shopping, and it was a little different this year than normal. We actually started our Black Friday shopping at home, which was never done before. No. Went on to Walmart.com and bought stuff because we decided we're not hitting Walmart. Every year, we go to Walmart, we walk in, we get a bunch of stuff, we see the line, and then we walk out. It's like, we I just can't. So this year, we just decided to go hit a couple of stores in the mall. We went to Crocs, and it turned out that it was cheaper to go online for Crocs. The yeah. sale online was better than the outlet store. And we got avocado ones. We got avocado ones. Well, we ordered that before Black Friday. I'm but. excited about those. And then uh, where else did we go? We went to Lake Crusade. That was the best. Mm -hmm. We went to Lake Crusade and I got greeted with like a giant hug. And as soon as I walk in, they're all like, Joe! Yeah. No, I'm just it's, kidding. It's like cheers. But they are like that. <laughs> You're there too much. I'm there way too much. Where else did we go in the mall? We went to Hollister because everything was 50% off. Yes. And um, Caleb is way into Hollister. So is Anthony. Yep. So we had to get a lot of Christmas presents. Then done. we went to the other Hollister in the other mall because we were in Sawgrass Mall, which is a giant outlet mall. It's like one of the largest malls. And you couldn't move at like six o'clock. I mean, there was like no parking space. I'm like, what are these people doing? Are they all crazy? It was like we were all salmon trying to swim upstream. Yeah. So we ended up leaving there because Anthony messaged us and goes, hey, Coral Square Mall, they're dead. So we went over there to go back to Hollister. And it was, in fact, dead. And it was dead. And I got a coat at Hollister for going to Omaha. Yeah, I'm so excited. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Yeah, so that's in January. That's in January. Just a month away, we're going to be going to a, it's Keto Summit Omaha, right? Yes. First one. I know Dr. Barry's going to be there. Danny Vega's going to be there. I don't even remember the list of everybody going to be there. I am just so excited. Keto Chow's going to be there. We're going to get our cold weather. Yeah. Like, it's happening. We're insane. We're Floridians. And we're going to Omaha in January. I'm still shopping for my coat because the one I tried on at Hollister, which was like the matchy matchy with yours, just didn't seem warm enough. I just know that I'm going to be like... I'm going to need to bundle. You know, I got nice little like fur like lined hat. Maybe we'll put a picture of it over here. You have to take a picture of it. You're going to need it because you, mm, I'm bald. You're going to have a beanie because doesn't like all of the heat escapes out of your head. Oh my gosh. I remember growing up. We I lived in New York growing up and we would go skiing and my mother always had a hat on. She would sleep. We'd be in the hotel room with the heat cranking because you're in a hotel room, right? It doesn't matter. At home. Had to be 50 degrees because, like, oil costs a lot of money. Okay, I would be loving that. But when we were upstate and we were in hotels, like, crank that heat up and she's always sleeping with a hat because, yeah, she was always like, all the heat escapes from your head, so you got to wear a hat. And see, we're the opposite. When we go to a hotel, the, the luxury is to crank the AC down. That's usually a fight because I get freezing and Rachel's like, hey, you don't have to pay for this one. Stop complaining. I'm like... 
It's still too cold for me. Put on an extra beanie. We're getting this thing cold. So yeah, so we did Black Friday and then unfortunately on Friday, we didn't even go anywhere because you had to do a bunch of work. I did and then- Then you got sick. By Saturday afternoon, you start getting that kind of like, what is happening? No, it wasn't Saturday, Friday. Today's right. Saturday. Friday it was kind of like, mm, you know, and you start to kind of like, see stuff that's not like quite there and you're like, yeah, I need to go to bed. And we started watching a new Korean drama for you guys who do watch Korean dramas. It's called The Last Empress. Oh my goodness. And if you want something that you're going to shout at the television, you're going to be screaming like, what are you doing? And have your heart wrenched, watch The Last Empress. It is like 56 episodes, but the episodes are only 25 minutes long. It is, there's so many bad guys. There's so many bad guys. Like you don't even find out who the good guy is till like 15 episodes like, in. Trust nobody. <laughs> so yeah, we've been watching that. We got, we had a nice afternoon just, off just watching that yesterday. I just kind of splashed. I have trouble like drinking sometimes. Do you? like? Man, I just like splashed myself. Okay. So that is what has been going on. So let's move right into some comments. Okay, well, first. Oh, wait, you have mail. I do. And we have gotten so many beautiful ornaments, thoughtful ornaments. I cannot wait to share them all with everybody on December 5th. But I wanted to share this one that came from Joe's friend. Yes. She we sent us a gorgeous, this nice email, which I printed the email. I have it right here. Wanted to read, um, she sent some Christmas balls. 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 I know they're ornaments, but balls. Balls. Red balls. But anyway, so um, uh, Joe's friend says, Dear Two Crazy Ketos, when I heard about your Christmas tree idea, I set out to find an ornament. And I thought of bacon and avocados and labs and cats and African greys and those acknowledging the reason for the season and those that are simply seasonal and festive. Of course, a lot of viewers took off with those ideas and I just love what you are receiving. So I just watched and waited until I knew what I wanted to send and then it came to me. During your last keto on the couch, you read the letter from Susie and I thought, wow, they really stand in the gap for so many of us. And then I suddenly realized perhaps in spite of all the adorable and thoughtful and meaningful ornaments, you might end up with some gaps on the tree. So I hope these ornaments help fill the, in the gaps on your very special tree this year with thanks and many warmest regards, Joe's friend, and her name is actually Terry. And she sent us an entire box of ornament balls. Balls. Terry, thank you so much, Miss Joe's friend. Thank you for being Joe's friend and Rachel's friend. Yes. I appreciate that. We love you guys so much. And that really is our prayer that, um, that we could kind of fill in the gap for, for some folks. We love you guys so much and we're very excited to share not just, you know, December 5th, but this entire holiday season together. And it is amazing how many like ornaments we've gotten, which if you're new to our channel and you're just watching this, maybe you found us through Keto Connect. Um, we are having a subscriber Christmas tree this year. You see it over in the back corner. It's not decorated yet because on December 5th, we are going to decorate it live. And what we've done is like, we've had subscribers send us ornaments mm -hmm. and those are the ornaments that are going on the tree. And we were kind of worried we weren't gonna have any, but you guys are amazing. Amazing. And so you still have a chance, even if you send it now when we get it after the 5th, we're gonna put them on and we'll show you guys like at each keto on the couch, what we're putting on. Oh yeah, absolutely. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that live. Rachel's going to sing and uh, we're going to do probably a giveaway, something oh, like that. It's I gonna guess. be just a blast. Now you had another, you had another package too. Where's the other package from Chris Akito Chow? Oh, okay. You're, Let's go get that one. I'll go get that. Okay. Okay, well before you even show these, and I can't wait to show you these, um, we did get a couple of other ornaments and somebody even sent us a box of keto bars. Yes. But we were so excited about the ornaments and when they came, Rachel was in the middle of cataloging everything. She photographed everything and cataloged every single thing that you guys sent us. So they got into the catalog before we did keto on the couch. So we were really sorry, but we will make sure we go over it when we do the decorating of the Christmas Oh yeah, tree. we're gonna break it down. And I am enjoying those keto bars, by the way, the strawberry, chocolate covered strawberry keto bars. Heck yes. And if you didn't see the video the other day, they're coming back in January. For those of you who like them, John from Keto Bars said that they are gonna re-release it permanently in January. Well, yeah. And, and they're gonna be part of the 12 days 12 also. 12 days too. And I believe- As a matter of fact, it is right here. 
This is for on my birthday, right? Yep, December, December 6th. December 6th, Keto Bars is sponsoring the 12 Days of Keto live stream. And in here are 12 bars. It just came today, actually. There is three of the chocolate peanut butter, three of four, the, uh, four dark chocolate coconut almond, three of the mint chocolate, and then two of the Keto Connect yeah. chocolate covered strawberry. That's my favorite. So, yep, they sent us that. They're delicious. They're like a candy bar. And you have to hide them from Joe. Tomorrow, December 3rd, Keto Chow is sponsoring the 12 Days of Live, and theirs is actually right here. A box of awesomeness. It's a box of awesomeness, and it is stuffed with Keto Chow. There's a whole bunch of Keto Chow in here. I think like 10 flavors. I'm not going to try to pull it out because and all, and there'll the, be stuff all over us. The red shreds. So... With that, Chris from Keto Chow sent us some ornaments. Which are amazing. He's, and, he is like a scientist. Yeah, I well, mean, he, he is an engineer. So brilliant. he's got a, a 3D printer. So he made, if we can show this here, a 3D Keto Chow ornament. Not just one, but he also made us this one. And then, as soon as I saw them, I knew what they were. You didn't know I. I was like, "Is this are. DNA?" So there, I was like, "Ooh, they're atoms," and I figured they were <clears throat> electrolytes. Now I don't know which one is which, but, there. but there's three different shapes. So you have this one. If we can focus. Then we have this one, and then we have this one. Can anybody guess what these are? I'll give you five seconds. I'll give you one, two, three. No, that's it. That's enough. Okay, so I don't know which one is which, but what these are is these are ketones. You have <laughs> what? Amazing. I mean, like, how smart is this dude? He made uh, acetone, acetoacetate, and I, I'm assuming because it's small to, to medium to large, this would be your beta hydroxybutyrate. Oh so my gracious. Sent us a bunch of those. So this is like super cool. Like it's a keto tree with ketones on it. I love it. I love it. That is so fun. Because he is such a geek and a dork just like us. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to comments. This was supposed to be a short keto on the couch and I don't think it is. <laughs> okay, so let's start off with subscriber of the week. The subscriber of the week is Robin. Hey, Robin. And Robin wrote, hi everyone, I'm Robin. I just joined this group, welcome. And she said, I found out about two crazy ketos from the Keto Connect podcast. Oh, thank you. I'm in my early 50s and I've lost 80 pounds. Wow. I've been eating this way for 18 months but am struggling a bit now and I'm trying to maintain. I love the idea of an older group who have always struggled with weight sharing tips. Too much out there is either health professionals or influence who have never ever struggled. I can't wait to meet you all. Here is a picture of my post weight loss. All right, let me see. There you go. Wow, hottie patati. Robin, oh my you look goodness. Awesome. Well, so, congratulations. Well, welcome to the family. And our Facebook family group is just full of awesome people. The best in the world. If you're new to our channel, down below is a link to our Facebook group. And people just go in there and encourage people. There's over a thousand people in there. It's encouraging, free. Encouraging, sharing recipes, sharing stories, sharing deals all week long, all week and long. People have been sharing like deals that we didn't know about. No, and I have been running with those. And yeah, so my okay. my wallet is screaming. At this okay, point. <laughs> let it. Let's get into our comments. So Vita wrote, hey, Vita. I just have to say that I find myself smiling every Monday during your keto on the couch. Mm -hmm. You two are so cute together. I couldn't do No Way November because I'm like Joe and I weigh myself multiple times a day. Yepers. I've been doing No Cheat November instead. Hey, that's good. I've been having about one cheat meal a month since I started keto at the end of June but decided not to have any this month. I'm wow. now excited to extend it into December and go into the new decade stronger physically and mentally. I can't wait to see your trade. Man, that is awesome. That's that's a huge win. That yes. is a huge win. I love it. If whatever's our challenge doesn't work for you, switch it up and just join us in the spirit of challenge. That's right. So Cheryl wrote, Hey Cheryl. Stockings. I love putting together the stockings for my family. When our children were little, Santa brought my husband Battery's kids for the toys. Yep. The children always got their own boxes of band-aids because we would go through band-aids like nobody's business. Aww. Now that we've gotten older, Santa leaves Chalk Zero, assorted cheeses, and alternative sweetened beer beverages like ginger beer, root beer. Oh neat. Since adult beers have way too many carbs. 
The kids' stockings now contain gift cards, their favorite chocolates, hand sanitizer samples, to-go tissues, and lip balm. Hey, I love that stuff. When now, like if I get underwear, I'm like totally stoked, right? Like how much is underwear now? I was gonna buy some for the kids this weekend and even on like Black Friday, it was like- it's like $25 for two pairs. I'm like, go commando guys. Like forget this. I couldn't believe it. But it's kind of cool though, because our kids went from toys to quickly like, I want electronics. Like one present was like $100, $200, $300. We, now they're like back to clothing. Now they're, they're like, yeah, I just want clothes. So yeah. like, this is cool. We can do this one. Well, and it's fun. And now there's multiple things under the tree again. Yeah. Yeah. Cause like one year it was like, you're getting one present and you have to split it between the two of you. Cause it was like, I want an Xbox. Yeah. So I, I like it. It's, it's changing. It's morphing. Uh, excuse me. So Jessica wrote, Hey Jessica, small things that fit in their stockings. Anything goes. Oh yeah. I mean, I like being creative with that. And I do love like hand sanitizer, makeup wipes, tissues, all that kind of stuff. So Yvette wrote, Hey Yvette. We don't do stockings anymore, but when the kids were home, it was their fave. I usually spent way too much on them and had more than would fit. I'm glad your reviews are honest. Eight to nine carbs for a main meal. And do we watch it live on YouTube? Well, first of all, yeah, our stockings like always had way too much stuff. I would start to get in trouble about December 24th. So it became be like, a pillowcase. It wasn't a stocking anymore. No, I'm like, I'm out of room. Everybody's getting like a uh, laundry basket in back of the stocking filled with stuff. Joe's like, oh my gosh, like what is the budget for this stocking? And I'm like, mm, there is no budget. A lot more than what the presents were. Yeah. That's how she got away with like each kid had a budget for presents, but she would get away with not spending that budget by saying, well, this is in the stocking. Stockings don't count. I got you, mama's babies. So uh, as far as the live streams, yes, the live streams are going to be on YouTube. I'm trying to figure out how to have them on our website as well. Will you be able to just look on the website? Mm -hmm. But yeah, live every day at five o'clock with the exception of Thursdays. Yeah. Where we'll be at live at eight o'clock. And then after that, we may have to change our, our live sessions to a different day. Well, I think there's one Saturday in there and we have well, to yeah. do it at noon. Yeah, we're gonna, the next Saturday is going to be noon. But we're may, we may be in the future changing our live streams to Saturday because we try to get on Dr. Barry's Zoom meetings and he holds those on Thursdays as well. So Consistently inconsistent. <laughs> so Ann wrote, Hey Ann. I can't wait to try the Cheez-Its. I absolutely loved them. My husband and I joked that when we walk past them in the store, I think I'll end up having a love-hate relationship with the cheese at recipe because I'm sure it's going to be hard to control myself. I think six carbs is just fine for the upper limit if it's your main meal. Good. Yeah, we can't make those Cheez-Its anymore. They're like, banned. We can't control ourselves eating them. They're gone. They do not stay in this house. I'm sure they'll be around for maybe Christmas. Maybe. It's like a treat. So Jay Perk wrote, Hey Jay Perk. I'm good for my main meal to have 10 net carbs for a decent serving size. I also agree with you, Joe, that for a dessert, it's more like four net carbs if I'm, I'm not doing it. You guys rock. I can't wait to make the Keto Chow chocolate cream pie. I won't be able to make it for Turkey Day, but I will make it for Christmas dinner. I'm ordering the Keto Chow when they do their Black Friday sale. So that's okay. Yeah, you don't have to do recipes on Thanksgiving. You could do it on Christmas too. Yeah, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link for that right over Rachel's head. That cream pie, it so is good. delicious. Slapstick wrote. Hey, Slapstick. My carb limit depends on where the carbs come from, I think. I have had salads or Taco Bells with up to 19 net carbs. Cheese, avocado, tomatoes. I've also eaten an entire Blaze pizza that may have been about 22. That was my carbs for the day, though. Most days, I try to stay under 16 net carbs, and I'm under 10 a decent amount of the time. I think that's, you know, it's just have a plan. Yep. You know, just where do you want to be? I like having that. Christina wrote, Hey Christina. Happy Thanksgiving. My cutoff for a dinner is eight, but I'd rather stay around six. I stay under 15 net a day and turkey pot pie sounds delicious. Good. That video just went up. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a link up here for you guys. It is incredible. And if you're out of turkey, use you want chicken. To, yep. Use chicken. Nicole wrote, Hey Nicole. Dinner net carbs. I will go up to 15 or so, so long as it's planned because I keep lunch low. Oh, nice. Tina wrote, Hey Tina. 10 net carbs if we don't have carbs for breakfast and we only eat twice a day and we don't eat desserts every day. So it looks like everyone's probably around the same place, like eight to 10 carbs or so but it's for nice, dinner. It's just nice to know when you're making recipes, kind of like what is your target right. area. And I've always been that way. My, our dinners or our fancier recipes generally were a little bit higher, but the rest of the day we're eating like eggs and bacon, which is like no carbs. Right. Ellen wrote, I generally don't go above five carbs. Hey Ellen. Air conditioner just kicked on. Sorry about that. 
Mama gets hot though. WG wrote, hey, I've WG. stopped worrying about exact carbs if the ingredients are good whole foods. Ooh, that's nice. Thank you for being such a bright light with your kindest love and faith. Aw, thank you so much for your encouragement. Um, yeah, that makes a huge difference too because like are you eating whole foods or is this like a processed box? Then I'm, I'm really skeptical of the carbs versus when you're cooking something and you're using real food, I don't know, yeah. I don't feel so bad if I'm getting a couple extra carbs but I know the vegetables and you know what I'm getting right I mean and that's why I mean we don't do bars every single day unless I'm like doing a ton of work and that kind of stuff just we try to stay to whole foods and then I'm not so worried about if I have too much lettuce or something like that too much lettuce uh, Lori wrote we're, hey Lori a lot of comments about the beard still people love talking about the beard so Lori I wrote it I love beards. It looks good on you. My husband, Brian, has a wonderful chest length beard. Wow, that is impressive. She would never let me grow a chest length beard. Could you grow a chest length beard? Of course beard? I could. You think so? Susan wrote. It's like ZZ Top, <laughs> right? That's kind of epic. <laughs> Susan wrote. Hey, Susan. I really think the beard looks great. I'm normally quiet, but I love you guys. Mm, Susan, thank you so much for like stating to keep the beard. Thank you. Nancy wrote. Hey, Nancy. If Joe shaves, he's going to look like Mr. Clean. Yes, thank you. I'm going to get you a magic eraser. Cheryl wrote. Hey, I Cheryl. love the beard, Joe. It makes you look very distinguished. You guys, you're awesome. You're, you're making my week. Gail wrote. Hey, Gail. I say shave on the live stream. Gail! Yule Brunner was so handsome. I appreciated your words of encouragement to the ones who were struggling on their keto journey. Aw. Well, okay, here's the deal. If you go full Yule Brunner, then, like, you gotta dance. Because, like, The King and I is one of my favorite movies, and, like, we could dance around the room, like, what, Deborah Carr and him. There's two things I don't do. I don't dance, and I don't sing. Well, let's add a third one. I don't shave. So Erica wrote. Hey, Erica. No shave. My husband doesn't, but when he does, he has baby face. Mm. But hey, Rachel, can you find the beard bells and lights for Christmas? Yes. No. That has to happen. No. Yes. Stop giving her ideas. Oh my gosh, now I'm excited. <sighs> Great. Oh, I just lost my place. Katie wrote. Hey, Katie. Y'all are killing me. So glad to be working from home this week to listen to Keto on the Couch while I'm working. That tree better be huge. I think it's pretty respectable. It's Costco sized, right? We got it in Costco. We got it at Costco. Everything's I mean, a little bit bigger there. It is seven and a half feet. I mean, it's super full. Again, we never fluffed the tree. I mean, it really came out of the box perfect. But I have to tell you, when we got that tree, like I was like oh, $250 and on sale. I mean, normal price was like that almost was 400 That was hard to swallow. But looking in like Home Depot and Lowe's on Black Friday, because I'm looking for some little ones for like to decorate kids ministry for like on the stage. Yeah. We're going to do a kids uh, Christmas series right. starting next week. And like they're like the decent ones are like 354 I saw one today for $600 that was only eight feet tall. You better check yourself before you wreck yourself, stores. Like, and I think what it is is down here in Florida, like they got you because the yeah. fake trees <laughs> don't last a long time. They don't. And like a fake tree that size is like over $100. Now, I don't want to look like an old lady that w likes to point out, like I remember when bread was 15 cents and gas was under a dollar. I remember that. I... <laughs> But I do remember, like, not so long ago, like, all the trees were under $200. Like, you could easily get, like, a $100 tree. Oh, yeah. They don't even it have any, happening. by us at least, that are, like, less than, like, $80. What is and, it? And those are short, like, five feet. Made out of? I don't know. Butterfly wings? So Debbie wrote. Hey, Debbie. Now, I'm warning you all. Get your tissues. I warned you all last week to get your tissues, and nobody listened to me. <laughs> I'm telling you, get your tissues, because the next few comments, they're kind of tearjerkers. Yeah. Uh, so Debbie wrote, wow, Susie's letter is eye-opening and inspiring. Dale's ornament is hands down the winner. I'm 100% ugly crying for many reasons. <laughs> Thinking of Dale, Susie, and my grandmother who passed away from Alzheimer's. There are so many days that I'm wrapped up in the weight loss aspect of keto when honestly I should focus on the health benefits. Thank you for sharing Susie's letter and Dale's ornament. It puts Thanksgiving in perspective. Thank you, Joe and Rachel, for being you. I am thankful for both of you, and I can't wait to hug you in person at KetoCon. Debbie, I can't wait to hug you in person. I'm so excited to just get to meet you face to face. And yeah, I, it's had me thinking all week long. My grandmother also passed away from complications with Alzheimer's. Her sisters struggled with dementia as well. And yeah, it really puts things in perspective. Yeah, because same thing for me. I mean, my father passed away from brain cancer, and I think now, like, 
what if we would have had known about this back then? Like you would have a, like a situation like Logan Sneed who was able to like tone down his brain cancer now like living in remission with, without his tumors and stuff. And that is why we do what we do. We do this, you know, yes, the weight loss is awesome, but it's about making everybody healthy beyond just the weight loss. Yeah. So uh, Desiree wrote, I voted, mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about, about Dale's ornament. Hi, no. Desiree. Kathleen wrote. Hey, Kathleen. Forget the contest. Dale's wreath wins. I'm, I, every single time. We're trying hard to not do that. Every <laughs> time I touch it, I like cry. I'm just glad that we're not voting for the ornaments and that this is out of our hands. Yeah. Tara wrote. Hey, Tara. Can I just place my vote for Dale's ornament now? That one got me in the field and I'm damn close to bulletproof. Oh my gosh. It punched me in the feels for real. Lisa wrote. Hey, Lisa. It's pretty quiet here in my office today, so it was nice to sit and enjoy keto on the couch uninterrupted. Aw. I thought I would be cool hearing uh, you read the subscriber letters. Now I need a fresh coat of mascara. Glad no one's around to ask me what's up. You did warn us beforehand. I told you to get tissues. Lisa, I... I tried to get through the letter. I knew what the letter was going to say, and I still cried. Like, I kept there's... telling her. I kept saying, like, don't, you can't read this. There's no way you're going to get this. She's like, I got this. I, I am not going to cry. I was like, dang it, so close. The only thing is, I, there was no way I was getting through without crying. You were reading it, and I was crying, so... <sighs> Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. So as I've said in the past, I work at a jail. Sometimes I feel as if it's hardened me. So when you said, let me see, I gotta figure out where we end. Oh, the, the next one's the last one. Okay. Okay. So Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. So as I've said, in, so Sherry wrote. Hey, Sherry. So as I've said in the past, I work at a jail. Sometimes I feel as if it's hardened me. So when you said get your tissues, I did not. Boy, was that a mistake. <laughs> Such a beautiful ornament and such a beautiful letter. God bless you, Susie, and thank you so much for sharing your story. You know, every single one of these ornaments represent, you know, families. That's what's really, like, hit hard for me, that, like, all of you guys, every and, and even every viewer who didn't send in an ornament, there's families out there that we want them to have a long, healthy life together. You know, we just got through Thanksgiving, and what's the best part of Thanksgiving? Just, like... Like being with your family, laughing, enjoying one another, and just being present in that moment. And we want you guys to be able to have Thanksgivings and Christmas seasons and Hanukkah seasons, like for just years and years to come. Yeah. So last one. Jen wrote. Hey, Jen. Yup, crying at work. <laughs> that story hits home. My mother-in-law is suffering from Alzheimer's and it seems to hit my husband's family a lot. I found keto when researching non-medical treatments to help slow Alzheimer's. We started a few months later and my husband has lost over 40 pounds and 77 pounds myself. We are also two years into this lifestyle change and loving it. I still have a lot of fat to lose, but I'm okay with not consistently losing because my mindset isn't that of the traditional diet mindset. I now see this as my way of life. Our 12 year old son decided to go keto-ish with us almost a year ago and has dropped almost 30 pounds. Wow. He chooses his way of life as well. It's an amazing thing. Thank you both for your amazing channel, your family group, and the love that you spread. Oh my goodness. Well, Jen, thank you so much for just being a part of our family. And we're definitely gonna be praying for your your husband's uh, mother and extended family. And yeah, like I've been there as like a, you know, a granddaughter watching somebody that I love so much just f forget. Forget yeah. me, forget her husband of more than 50 years. And it was it was heartbreaking. So anything that we can do to, to stave that off, to slow the progression of something like that, like that's what I wanna do. I wanna, I wanna fight that Alzheimer's. I wanna fight it and yeah. all of those diseases, all those things that people are struggling with and whatever weapon that we have to fight it with, in this case, keto, let's do it. Yeah. Well, that is this week's Keto on the Couch. And if you're new to our channel, please go and join our Facebook family group. The link is down below in the description. And please leave your stories because your story is going to impact somebody. Everybody gets impacted by different stories and you don't know who is gonna see that story and be like, that's me. And they're gonna be able to relate to it and keep moving on. Yeah, exactly. You're so inspiring. Also, if you know somebody who's even thinking about going keto, why not share our videos with them? 
Let them know about the giveaways that's going on because there's nothing like free stuff that makes people think like, all right, I'm going to take that next step. Right. Especially with the different products that we're giving away, this makes keto so much easier. And so with that, again, if you're seeing this on Monday in the morning, make sure you tune in for the 12 days of keto tonight where mm -hmm. we'll be giving away the perfect keto bundle. Yes. And uh, if you can't tune in for the live stream, don't worry about it. You can catch the replay, which will go up immediately after the live stream. And that's where you're gonna leave your comments so that you can enter into the giveaway and then we're gonna pick the winner in the next day's live stream. So yeah. if you can't make the live stream, don't worry about it. You still have, you know, an opportunity to win. Absolutely. Now, along with that, don't forget that on Friday we did, we snuck into that perfect keto, the giveaway of the last tub of nut, nut butter, butter that we had. Uh, so you still have a chance if you're seeing this in the morning to enter into it, just go over to the perfect keto video um, that we put up on Friday leave a comment, and then later on this evening, on Monday evening, we're going to be drawing the winner for that. There's lots of delicious stuff to win. Yeah, and once again, thank you very much to Perfect Keto for sponsoring today's Keto on the Couch and then tonight's 12 Days of Keto. Yay! So that is this week's Keto on the Couch. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week. Bye! bye.